Okay, Tim, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Great. Can you play a little bit of that melodic hook for me? Yeah. So I'm Roger Brown. We're here at Compa Studios in Nashville with Gary West and Allison Brown, who are hosting and producing a session for me uh, with some great musicians. I'm off the grid, off the clock, off work whenever I want. I'm on the lake, I'm on my game, off to my favorite home. I've been president of Berkeley for 17 years, and being president of a college is, is a demanding job. So this year I decided for my own sanity to have a creative project, so I worked on some co-writes with people I know. So Self Unemployed has three writers, um, Roger Brown of course, and Mark Simos, who's an amazing writer just in the folk pop genre, and then Senator Tim Kaine, whom I'd never met. Um, but actually got to meet through a Zoom session when we put the harmonica part on this track. And uh, so Tim was a first for me in a lot of ways. I've never produced a harmonica player, and I've never produced a senator, and I've also never produced a Zoom session, so... Um, but by all counts, I think that we got some really great music. Which two notes do you like better, like... Or... Okay. You can't lay me off, I'm a furlough proof, ex-member of the working class. You can't ride size me, or bite size me, or just plain fire my ass. So Roger Brown has been my friend for now almost 40 years. Uh, we met in Boston and before we were married, so it was kind of a collection of guys, guys and girlfriends, guys and wives, guys, wives and kids. And, the whole group has been so proud of Roger and his tenure at Berkeley College Music. We were on a bike ride last summer. We decided, uh, as part of a nature quest of mine, I invited all these buddies to come and ride the whole Blue Ridge Parkway and Skyline Drive from the Virginia-North Carolina border to Front Royal, about 330 miles. And uh, when we were on the ride, having a lot of fun, one night with a couple of beers, I said, I thought of a great title for a song. I'm self-unemployed. He said, Roger, I've got this song title idea. And I said, the song is self-unemployed, and it's somebody not saying that they quit, not saying that they retired, but saying they've self-unemployed. And I thought it was pretty clever, because you know, now on Facebook and Instagram, it always says, what's your job? And people say, self-employed. Well, lo and behold, six months later, February, I get a note from Roger saying, hey, you know that self-unemployed song? I've actually worked with a friend at Berkeley, and we've written it. And he sent me lyrics, and I, I really liked the lyrics. It included some things that I had, and I sent a few ideas back. And I told him how much I liked it. And then a few months later, this great Nashville version of it with the video showed up. So it was funny, Roger kind of kept it to himself that he was working on it. But by the time I saw it, he had really turned it into something special. So uh, my first songwriting credit, but I'm really uh, proud to work on it and especially happy to work on it with Roger because he's just such a wonderful uh, leader uh, of his college and a wonderful friend and a very, very creative musician. Well, I think Self Unemployed is maybe like a great tune for our times, and it's just such a clever concept for a tune. And when I first heard it, um, I thought Trey Hensley would be just the guy to really bring this song to life. 
I actually still can't think of a more perfect vocalist to sing Self Unemployed. He brings his whole East Tennessee upbringing into his rendering of the song, and I just love it. I mean, I think it could be, you know, something that really connects with a lot of people right now. So it felt like a real family affair, which is, I think, part of what music does. It brings people together. <laughs>